Finding outliers is one of the most important steps in preprocessing. And I'm going to show you a couple of ways, but basically the, those ways are using common sense and some visual intuition taken from plots. So let's get started. In this video, I'm going to use a taxi data set that you can download in my GitHub repository. So let's type this in here and wait for a few seconds to download and import it into our studio. Here we go. So now let's look inside. Okay, so we have different variables. We have a factor here, which is a key. It looks like a date and an hour. So we have the fair amount, pick up date time, longitude, latitude, and so on and so forth. Okay, so next step, as usual, start always simple. So let's do a summary and let's take a look. Oh, this is interesting. As you can see here, the fair amount is negative, so this doesn't make any sense. That means that the taxi driver is going to pay the passenger for going there. So let's take a look a little bit at that column. So I'm, I'm going to short this variable. Okay, I'm going to do this with the command short, fair amount. Okay, and I'm, I'm going to tell R to show me just the head of the shorted data set. Okay, this is only six, by default, so I'm going to say, uh, let's say 25. And as you can see here, we have different numbers, minus five, minus three, and one cent. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, th this way is very simple. So we have found outliers because this doesn't make any sense. So this is one way to check for outliers. Okay, so we could say now, I'm going to create a new data set called taxi, and I'm going to filter, just taking into account those lines, those rows in the data set, in which the fair amount is larger, let's say, than two. And I'm going to pick up all the columns. So here we go. If we repeat the summary, now you can see that we have the minimum here is 2.5, okay? Now let's let's take a look using a box plot. Box plot, taxi, fair amount. Okay, and as you can see here, we see tons of outliers. So outliers are basically those points in the box plot that are not included within these lines. So this is very strange. So it doesn't make any sense that you have so many different values and all the values are almost, I don't know, I would say randomly distributed. So let's see what's happening here. And I'm going to use the histogram command, taxi, fair amount. And here we go. So the problem with this data set is that the fair amount is a logarithmically scale distribution. In, in other words, the distribution is so skewed that almost all the mass of the distribution is around here. So what can we do? Well, we can do a couple of things. The simplest way is to speak in the language of people from the mafia. You could say, I'm going to tell you how many zeros do you have to pay. So we can calculate how many zeros using the log 10. So for instance, log 10 of a thousand is three, as you can see here, log 10 of a million is six. Okay, so let's create a new variable called log, let's say fair, it's going to be log 10 of the old taxi fair amount, okay? And now let's plot the histogram again. Taxi, log fair, and here we go. So this looks much more reasonable. So now we have all the distribution of all the fares are almost at the same, in the same range, okay? Now we can do a box plot. So let's duplicate this line. Oh, sorry, let's duplicate this and then change this by box plot. Okay, and here we go. Uh, box plot, no, box plot. Here we go. So now we see a lot of outliers still. And now it's our choice. So it depends on what we are trying to measure. So one interesting thing about the box plot function is that it can be used to produce some output from the plot. So uh, let me tell you some info from the box plot. And now this is a new data set. Info. And as you can see, you have different information here. The most interesting one is info stats because it, it tells you what are these lines. So for instance, the median is 0 0.929 and this line is probably 1.57. Okay, if I reverse the log 10 info stats, I can see how many dollars are those. So the median is $8 and, and the interquantile range is between $6 and $12 and everything above 37.2. $54 are considered an outlier. But again, it depends on the problem that we are trying to solve. Maybe we should remove this or not. But I am showing you here in this video how to detect outliers, know what to do with them. 
Okay, so this is basically what we are going to do almost all the time. So first take a look at the summary, then if we see something strange, try to sort the data and try to check the outliers and then check in the box plot and the histogram. Okay, so let, let's imagine that we want to filter all the values above this one. Okay, so this is very simple. So let's create a new taxi filter. And I'm going to say that I'm going to take the all and I'm going to filter everything, taxi, fair amount, larger than, sorry, I'm going to take only values lower than, let's, let's say 40 bucks, and all the columns. So remember the comma and the empty argument. So now let's take summary and taxi filter. And here we go. So now everything seems more or less reasonable. So let, let's practice a little bit more with another variable. Let's check this one. Drop of latitude, this is crazy. And drop of longitude, this is crazy too. Why I'm saying that? Because as you can see, the median is minus 73 in longitude. The minimum here is minus 84, but then you have something here that says 40. So this is me, means basically traveling by taxi from the US to Europe or, or something like that. So let's plot this again. So again, let's do a histogram. Let's say taxi filter, well, taxi alone is faster, taxi, drop off longitude. And here we go. As you can see here, everything is around minus 80, but this doesn't make any sense. Okay, let's do a box plot, but we're not going to learn much from that drop off longitude. Okay, again, when you see this sort of box plot, that does mean that this data probably is flawed. So this has to do with typos, one of the type of outlier that we cover in the theory. There are some specialized libraries in our studio that you can install. One of them is called outlier detection. So you, you can play with that, but, but I think you, you get the main idea. So as I was saying, common sense, I mean, take a look at the summary, sort the data if you have some doubts and, and then try to, to do a box plot. And the more important probably is histogram. Okay. And the other thing that we have learned is that from for the box plot, you can extract some statistical information. So sometimes that is useful. And that's all for today.